Lila approached the stone pedestal with a mix of excitement and reverence. The tome was ancient, its leather cover worn and the title The Chronicles of Elmridge was embossed in gold that had lost some of its shimmer with time. Taking a deep breath, she gingerly opened the book, revealing pages that seemed to be made of a material finer than paper, shimmering slightly in the fading light. The first page displayed an intricately drawn map of the forest, with pathways marked and significant landmarks highlighted. But what caught Lila's attention was a quill lying next to the book. It wasn't just any quill, it seemed alive, its feather pulsating with a soft glow. As she touched the quill, it leapt into action, moving on its own. Words began to form on the blank page. Seeker of stories, guardian of tales, with this quill, your journey unveils. Startled yet fascinated, Lila watched as the quill continued to write, narrating a tale of the forest's creation. The story told of a time when stars fell from the sky, each taking root and growing into the magnificent trees that now stood tall. The forest was a living testament to these celestial beings, guarding the stories of the universe. As the tale unfolded, Lila felt a deep connection, as if the forest's history was intertwined with her own destiny. The chronicle spoke of guardians chosen every century, individuals with the unique ability to hear, understand, and share the woodland's tales. And as she read further, it became clear. Lila was the chosen guardian of this era. The responsibility felt overwhelming, but the forest had already shown her its trust. The creatures she met, the whispers she heard, and now the tome, all were guiding her on this predestined path. The quill paused, then wrote a question. Are you ready to embrace your destiny, Lila of Elmridge? Lila took the quill in her hand, feeling its energy. With determination, she wrote her response. I am ready. The moment the words appeared, the book's pages fluttered, and a new section revealed itself. It detailed the locations within the forest where specific tales were held. The singing meadows, the mirror caverns, the tree of dreams, and more. Realizing that the tome was a guide to her journey ahead, Lila carefully memorized the map and the landmarks. As night began to envelop the forest, the clearing where she stood became bathed in a soft luminescence, courtesy of the countless fireflies that had gathered. Holding the chronicle close, Lila felt a gentle tap on her shoulder. Turning around, she found the curious creatures she'd met earlier, each offering a small gift, a luminous feather, a vial of sparkling dew, a tiny crystal. These were tokens of protection and guidance for the journey ahead. With a grateful heart, Lila started her trek back home, the path illuminated by her new companions. The whispers that evening were filled with pride and anticipation. Elmridge's chosen one had accepted her destiny, and a new chapter in the forest's legacy was about to begin.